Mariama calls herself a disease detective. She's one of 3,000 contact tracers in New York City. So I'm calling because you tested positive for COVID-19. And I- this work's important to Mariama. She's watched the virus devastate her East Harlem neighborhood. I've seen that we've still had to be exposed to the virus at a disproportionate rate. And then I've also seen the amount of businesses that are shut down in the past few weeks and months. Um, so it's hurt a lot of people. Um, a lot of people have lost loved ones. A lot of, a lot of people have lost livelihoods. And is that part of what's motivated you to want to be a contact tracer? It's so important for it to actually be reduced in terms of transmission. People need to know like what it is, how do we prevent it. Otherwise, it's just going to keep going on unchecked. New York's contact tracing operation is only three weeks old. So are people cooperating, I asked the man in charge. We wanted this to be clearly New Yorkers from our communities taking care of other New Yorkers. And I believe that's why we've had an improvement since we've started in terms of New Yorkers feeling comfortable to share their contacts and how we're already at a rate that I'm proud of, which is that 86% of people that have finished the interviews have given us contacts. Contact tracing is being used here in New York and around the world to track new coronavirus outbreaks. But juggling an individual's right to privacy with the public good isn't easy. 4,000 miles from here in Italy, the government there is trying a new approach. Search the application in Muni. Paola Pisano is the Italian minister in charge of a new app which 4 million people have downloaded. Italians with the app get an alert if they've been near an infected person who agreed to share their contacts. It's important to use this application because um, the, the quicker you understand uh, that a person is positive uh, and the better you can uh, treat uh, this person and the faster you can uh, uh, identify uh, the cluster of uh, coronavirus in our country. Back in New York, Americans are wary of sharing their data with the government, even in a pandemic. And for people who won't answer the phone to contact tracers, here's what's coming next. We're going to have people that are field operatives, if you will, or our community engagement specialists that are going to go into our communities and knock on the door of anybody that we weren't able to get through to on the phone. The police are part of the effort to contain the virus too, giving out supplies in the hardest hit neighborhoods. New Yorkers fear the re-emergence of coronavirus and contact tracing is the key to tracking its transmission. Laura Trevelyan, BBC News, New York.